So this will be very spontaneous. It'll be so authentic. Sorry. <laughs> The version of political engagement that gets manifest in the religious right has problems and challenges for Christian discipleship. Because I think one of the one of the great challenges is that uh, um, you end up confusing the civil religion of a nation state with your Christianity, and and in the states in particular, that gets really blurred. Um, so, because um, it's sort of the generation of my age and above that were really the movers and shakers in that. I see the, the next generation really responding to that. And they also don't want to retreat from concern with politics, but I see the, a sort of next generation of Christians who are very skeptical and very suspicious about the, the over-identification of Christian faith with, with ideological party politics. So you'll, you'll see them very concerned about justice um, but they are not interested in signing up for the party lines of different parties, political parties, and so on and so forth. And you'll hear more and more talk about sort of being post-partisan. I think that's an encouraging trend. It's something that, that, that um, is a welcome sort of new distantiation from over-identification with political ideologies and agendas. That said, I do think that that generation is in danger of getting... Um, not hoodwinked, but in, in, there is a temptation to, in the name of being postpartisan, actually get sort of hijacked by an agenda that is still kind of an ideological agenda because you're reacting to the sort of conservative right wing agenda of, of your parents, you know. So I, I think the, the real agenda going forward is for Christians to figure out how to be engaged and concerned for the common good to not retreat into holy enclaves, um, but be the church for the common good in ways that don't give up on engagement with the political, but also don't put too much emphasis on the political. We need to um, build more networks and bridges uh, to, to partner with organizations too that would give us an outlet and a voice to sort of play a role there without coming in as the, you know, the sage who's going to dictate what should happen, but to help the body of Christ to think alongside and with the body of Christ about these sorts of matters. And I guess it's also why I'm a teacher. I mean, to me, all of us who are educators are invested in trying to form and shape the next generation of leaders. Yeah, I mean, and Regent does this so much better than a lot of places. Regent College is the kind of place that is a think tank for the church. Do you know what I mean? And it's, but, it, but without being a, um, a sort of ivory tower, it's not an ivory tower fortress, you know, insulated and, and uh, um, enclaved from the realities of that. So no, I think you guys have a great opportunity here. Mm -hmm.